booty call. <laughs> Woo! G Love with the booty call live on 90.3 The Rock, WTK, and on UTTV's The Rock Unplugged. Go ahead and turn that light on back up there. He has to. There you go. Thank you. So we're not in the dark here. Um, Man, good, good stuff. Uh, definitely got the string back on, and uh, now he's tuning because he cares. So, <laughs> G-Love. Uh, again, G-Love and Special Sauce <laughs> with Giant Panda Gorilla Dub Squad down at the Valerium tonight, uh, probably about 8 o'clock or so. And, uh, by the way, Vanderbilt just got beat on the last second shot, so that makes everybody up here happy. So, uh, it's I like I you a lot of good. I went on the Barack Autology Brackets. Oh, yeah. I think Barack Obama it, it worked some last year. It's working. <laughs> it worked last year. He picked the Tar Heels last year. So, um, again, G Love in town tonight playing live. It's always a great show. It's always a party. You always walk out of that place feeling good uh, whenever G Love is in town. And tonight will be no exception down at the Valerium. We talked a little bit before the last song about doing it your own way and your own label kind of thing and on your own time. Well, you've even got kind of this side project with these guys from Down Under going on, don't you? Uh, I think the Plutronics. Tell us a little bit yeah, about that. Yeah, uh, this guy's name is Plutonics, and um, you can check him out on MySpace. Um, Plutonics, like Plu P-L-U-T-O-N-I-C-S. And um, anyway, he's a hip-hop producer, writer from Australia, and artist, and um, we met through the record distributor who's putting out our independent release down there and right. um you know we kind of got to talking and um i said hey man well why don't we why don't we do something and do a collaboration record and so he started sending me some beats and um you know one night i got down to it and i wrote like six or seven tunes over you know tunes i kind of had lyrics for and kind of put them over his uh right. beats and as well as uh Doing a old John Lee Hooker tune called "Crawling King Snake" over over the beats, and um, I think it's a really unique project, and it's certainly like m more um, hip hop style production than you've heard me do in the past. Um, it's dirty, man. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. That should hopefully come out this summer, or the fall, in Australia again. And you know, right now, just trying to, uh, and then we're working on a new G Love record right now, but we're just in kind of the infant stages of that, like getting the songs and figuring out exactly, um, you know, what what direction we want to take it this year, and which is either going to be like, again, more of a hip hop style of blues, or I might just be more of a blues record and do a, a record I've, I've wanted to do for a long time, more of a traditional record with, um, some songs of old blues artists that I do and uh like a John Lee Hooker or maybe even a John Hammond yeah and um and uh some al al also like more of some of my like kind of singer songwriter side of me that I that I that's been a quintessential part of what I do since the very very beginning but I haven't um released too much of that you know so it's interesting but we're kind of uh, seeing that might be the right time to do something like that. Very cool. Now, that, that Plutonics thing, you think that'll ever see some domestic release over here? or? or? I, I actually, I mean, I'm, you know, you, you always feel like this. I mean, when I'm making music, I feel like I throw everything into it, and it feels like it feels like it hits me. <laughs> so, I mean, I think I think it's going to be so dope that, like, uh, I mean, I have high hopes for it. Somebody could pick it up over here? Even I, I hope so. Hey, uh, tell us, you know, you are kind of in between records, so I'm sure that folks may hear a new tune or two tonight, but you're one of those artists that likes to go way back in your catalog, too, when you're True. between records, aren't you? Folks want to hear some real old G-Love and Special Sauce? Yeah, it's right now we are kind of in between records. Superhero Brother, our last release came out in 2008, so, right? Or 2009. Yeah, 2008 on Brush Fire, I guess. Right, so it's been a minute. Yep. So uh, right now we're kind of um, getting to dig into some of our more obscure back catalog and also trying out... Um, you know some of the newer material that's un unrecorded yet that we're uh, anxious to record and um, plenty of improvisation and freestyle. I mean the band is really uh, really firing on all cylinders right now. So it's it's nice to be out here playing music with these guys. When you get to a point where everyone's really gelling and uh, yeah, you know it's uh 
It's a good show right now. I, be, I guarantee it. I've never, like I said, I've had the, uh, the the very, very good opportunity to work a handful of shows with you back a few years back. I mean, oh. it, you never put on a bad show. Thanks, and like man. I said, everybody walks out of there smiling, man. It's such a good feel, and it's a party and a good vibe. Yeah, man. that's the thing about music. It's like, you know, you know, it doesn't matter what's going on in your life and in my life. It's like, you know, music, you know, that always seems to, you know, can really affect your mood in a positive way and uh you know there's definitely some nights where you know as a musician on the road you know you just be like man i just don't know if i can do this tonight <laughs> and then you get on stage and then you know the minute you play that first note it's just like that thought's just out of your head and just happy once again to be playing your guitar you know flips the switch yeah it goes on man uh tell us man you do a great job again g love here live in studio and on uh, the rock unplugged you do a great job with this whole social networking thing. Your your Twitter on, you know, I got a lot of this information from your tweets from okay. from tour and all. Tell folks how they can go, you know, MySpace website, all that. How you can ke keep up with G and especially night after night, keep up with what went on the night before from the show because it's you do a great job with that, man. How do, how can they find you on the web? Yeah, um, I guess go to our main webpage, which is philadelphonic.com, which is P-H-I-L-A-D-E-L-P-H-O-N-I-C.com, philadelphonic.com. And um, from there, you can, you know, join our, all the different MySpace, Facebook, and Twitter, and all that stuff, and uh, kind of keep up with what we're doing. And I do, I do like to post uh, the set list from last night's show every day, and, um, you know, whatever else, funny, redonkulous Dennis stuff. Dennis Rodman's normal. stories. <laughs> That's yeah, we get I some got stories it. going out here from town to town. <laughs> Most well, of them don't end up on the web, but... Uh, well, the good part is all our basketball players are out of town tonight, so you don't have to worry about our basketball players jumping <laughs> on stage tonight, man. They're up in Providence. So, hey, man, um, listen, I, I just want to thank you because you always take time to come by radio stations when you're in town. You've done it in other markets where I've worked with you. You're one of those artists that, that really takes time to do it. And, and you make sure we all have a good time in here. And you've, you know, you've let me have a bunch of folks in here to watch you and, and check out what G Love is all about. And I just want to thank you because it is tough. You're out there on the road, and every day you got to recharge and get back going again. And here you are hitting radio stations in town even before sound check. And we appreciate that. Well, man, we a appreciate whole lot. your support. So thank, the feel, thank you. Feelings mutual, you know. Well, we are happy to play your music. We play quite a bit. And we'll, we'll wait for that new record to drop. And when it does, we'll spin it till we're uh, dizzy. So. I appreciate it. G Love in studio. Can you do one more before we get you out? Of here and I get you back to the hotel yeah. venue wherever well, you need to go. Yeah, I was talking about some of those blues tunes, so I was just gonna do this Big Bill Brunsy tune. Um, and uh, it's called Big Bill's Blues, but I've been calling it Feeling Low Down.
little some of a town. I'm so lonesome. Yes, I stay blue all the time. Yeah, but that's all right. I'll be up. Oh, yeah. Bringing a little more sunshine into the Knoxville area today, <laughs> even into the studio. Mr. G. Love, Philly Zone in, uh, in Knoxville tonight with Special Sauce. His band playing the Valerium Giant Panda Gorilla Dub Squad opening up. Doors about 8 o'clock. They do have tickets at the door. It is going to be a great, great show. It always is when G is in town. G. Love, man, thanks so much. Ninety point three, the rock. Good afternoon, Benny Smith. With you, happy Tuesday afternoon to you. you just heard music from Mr. Danny Barnes uh, coming from that excellent record. It's called Pizza Box. There it is, in three D on ATO Records, and uh, really, really fine tune called Sparta, Tennessee. That has done very well for us here at ninety point three, the rock. We've had a lot of fun with it. But let me tell you, if you've ever got a chance to work with Danny Barnes, listen to his music. If you can't have fun with it, then you need to stop because you need to move on and do something else. Because uh, we've got Danny in studio, we're getting ready to have a little bit of fun as well. And again, welcome back, Danny Barnes, to Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, excellent tune there, Sparta, Tennessee. Thanks for uh, for coming on <laughs> and telling us a little bit about that and and the story behind that. Um, before we go a whole lot further mm -hmm. and, and into back when we met and when you kind of first started, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, Pizza Box. Again, your ATO Records uh, debut, excellent record. A lot of different, uh, as always, when you're working with Danny, a lot of different cool things involved from a, from an influential standpoint musically. And, again, uh, you're also watching UTTV The Rock Unplugged, by the way. You can check that out <laughs> Thursday, Saturday, Sunday nights at 9 on uh, Channel 194 in Knoxville, uh, Channel 65 <clears throat> on campus. But the horn section, number one, man, I mean, it, did you hear this song in, in your, you know, your mind and then think, you know, let's put a – almost a Memphis horn section yeah. behind that. How did that all come about? That just, that just yeah, came that, together that, quite nicely. That tune, that tune right there kind of just had that feel to it where I was kind of trying to make that song sound like those, uh, like in the early 70s, some of those records that used to be on the radio oh, yeah. and stuff, you know, and late 60s and stuff like that, kind of the Tony Joe White sound and stuff like that. I was just trying yeah. to kind of cop some of that on there. And my friend Rashawn arranged those horns. Uh, he plays with in Dave Matthews' band and, and plays with those guys, and he's a good friend of mine. And he came in and... and sort of fleshed that out and made that happen and stuff and, and so that's, I thought that'd be kind of a cool flourish on that you know oh it nailed it yeah you know, it's it's it is cool. great man let's talk a little bit about this record your debut for ATO Records obviously um, you were out on the road last time I saw you you were here in town on the stage at Sundown in the City the last time I saw you here with Robert Earl Keane yeah, Mr. Yes. Bandera Texas himself <laughs> um, and uh, you, you did some gigs with Robert Earl, and apparently Robert Earl was opening up for Dave Matthews. And yeah. you take it from here. How, how did that all come well, about? I, I initially met Dave. It's, uh, it's like, it's funny with my music. It's like most people that know what I'm doing are in bands and stuff. Like most of the guys that are into my work are in bands. Fellow musicians. Yeah, it's funny like that. You know, like typically if I get, if somebody...